Kayla, this is pretty ex a pretty exciting night for folks there. Well, Christine, there is a tremendous amount of excitement here tonight. People were literally jumping up and down. Some moved to tears. When the CBC News decision desk projected that liberal majority government, this is also historic. As you say, Susan Holt will be the first female premier in this province. She is fluently bilingual, which is always an important question here in Canada's only officially bilingual province. She became leader of the New Brunswick Liberals in 2022 and was first elected to the legislature in a by-election last year. Her win tonight means New Brunswickers have voted for change, which political observers point out is a trend we're starting to see across Canada now. Holt said tonight that she thanked the women who came before her. There's so many young girls that thank you, Aldea, and Shirley and Elizabeth and Barbara, Holt's win tonight also means that New Brunswickers chose promises to fix health care and cost of living issues over a cut to the provincial sales tax that the progressive conservatives were promising. But some say this election was really a referendum on Blaine Higgs. He had been the premier for six years. He had been seeking a third mandate, which no premier in this province has been able to pull off in nearly 30 years. He was also increasingly unpopular and he faced a revolt from within his own party over his leadership style, as well as his stance on the province's controversial policy on gender identity in schools. Tonight, Higgs said that this result, this election result, will trigger a leadership transition, but he didn't officially resign. It's certainly uh, not the night we'd hoped for. Nevertheless, it's, uh, it is what it is. So the people of New Brunswick have spoken, and I have called and congratulated Susan Holt and her team on their victory. And some progressive conservatives have told me this loss tonight means they will now have to set about rebuilding their party from the inside out, Christine. Kayla, Susan Holt spent time during this campaign trying to distance herself from the federal Liberals. What does her win mean on that front? Certainly it became very clear that Susan Holt was trying to distance herself from Justin Trudeau, who has become unpopular among Canadians, all while the provincial progressive conservatives try to say that she is a carbon copy of Trudeau. So her win tonight could simply mean it didn't work, or as one political scientist told me, it could mean New Brunswickers dislike Blaine Higgs more than they dislike Justin Trudeau. All right, thanks, Kayla. Kayla Hounsel in Fredericton.